Family Theater presents Frank Fay, Gene Cagney, and Stephen Dunn. From Hollywood, the Mutual Network, in cooperation with Family Theater, presents A Snake in Time, starring Stephen Dunn and Gene Cagney. To introduce the drama, here is your host, Frank Fay. Thank you, Tony Lafano. Family Theater's only purpose is to bring to everyone's attention a practice that must become an important part of our lives if we are to win peace for ourselves, peace for our families, and peace for the world. Family Theater urges you to pray. Pray together as a family, and, and now to our drama, starring Jean Cagney as Miss Clementine and Stephen Dunn as Mesquite Mike. <laughs> It sure was nice of you to walk me home, Mike. I thought you was getting mighty bored just sitting there on that bench in front of my hotel. Oh, shucks, Miss Clementine. There's nothing I like more than sitting with you. <laughs> I'd rather be bored with you than anybody. Oh, Mike, you say the nicest things. I reckon I could let you walk me home every day, if you wanted to. Well, I couldn't do that, Miss Clementine. You couldn't? No. Nope. Well... If you're tired of my company, Mike, just say so. I, I wouldn't force myself on no man, especially one that wouldn't let me. Oh, it ain't that, Miss Clementine. I sure would like to walk you home, but, well, it's uh, Matilda. Matilda? Yes, ma'am. Matilda wouldn't like that. Uh, she's kind of jealous. Miss Keith, Mike. Here I thought you were the finest fella I ever knew, and you turn out yeah, to be... Yeah, but Matilda ain't... Even Beauregard Sneedby wouldn't do a thing like that. And I hate him worse than anybody, except you. Yeah, but, Miss Clementine, I can explain... Explain you, nothing. I want to meet this here Matilda and have it out with her. I'll tell her how you've been a-carrying on behind her back. If I wasn't a lady, I'd scratch your eyes out, Miss Geet Mike. I reckon I should have told Start you... Start marching before I bend my shotgun round your neck. I want to see this, Matilda. <laughs> Okay, Sneedby, what's the deal this time? Well, Red, right now we have serious business to discuss. Ain't nobody getting wise, is he? Uh, so far, we have been able to operate on a small scale without detection, but our next job will be risky. Uh, we're going after something big? Correct. A big haul. Now, if we manage this without a hitch, we can settle back and be firm defenders of law and order. Oh, that's the thing that keeps me going, Sneedby. I want to steal enough to be an honest man. What's the take? Uh, $100,000 in gold dust, my friend, right here under our very noses. Where's it at? Right across the street, locked up in Miss Clementine's hotel safe. You aiming to rob Miss Clementine? Mm -hmm. I thought she was the apple of your eye, <laughs> only she thinks you're a worm in the apple. <laughs> uh, have your little joke, my friend. Uh. Miss Clementine is too wrapped up in that clod of a mesquite mic to see my true worth. <laughs> Nevertheless, this job will not only make us rich, but uh, I will settle with Mesquite Mike for good. Yeah. Now, this gold dust belongs to an itinerant prospector that is staying in the hotel overnight. That means we have to act quickly. Shouldn't be no trouble breaking that safe, not with your talent. Well, thank you, Red. It gives me a very warm feeling to know that my modest abilities are appreciated. Now, the important thing is this. Mm. Yeah, we're going to place the blame on Mr. Mesquite Mike himself. This is what I've been waiting for. Yes, when Miss Clementine examines her safe tomorrow morning, she will find that she has been shamefully, but uh, skillfully, robbed, and that the evidence will point directly to the guilty man. <laughs> Miss Clementine will be through with that Mesquite Mike, and that's when I move in. <laughs> and get your head blowed off. Now, Miss Clementine, that ain't no way to talk to a lady. And lady? Put, put Anyone who carry on like she's been carrying on ain't no lady. Oh. Besides, it looks like she's run off. Oh, she's here someplace. Now, Matilda wouldn't go anywhere without my telling her. I bet she's a hiding under the chair. You, you must have scared her. What kind of fraidy cat is this, Matilda? Oh, Matilda ain't no cat at all, Miss Clementine. Look out, Mike. Over in that corner. Where? No, move back, Mike. Give me, give me room to 
to shoot. Uh, Miss Clementine, stop. It's a rattlesnake, I'll blast it. But they've gone away. Let go my arm, I was trying to save you no good life. Don't shoot, that's the Get your hand over my... What did you say, Mike? I've been trying to tell you all along, Miss Clementine. Matilda is my pet rattler. She uh, wouldn't hurt nobody. She likes people. Well, I, I swear I never hear the like. A tame rattlesnake. Oh, please, Miss Clementine, don't call Matilda that. Just say rattler. Matilda's kind of shy about being called a snake. Oh, oh, excuse me, Matilda. Yeah, well, I raised her myself. Now, look, put away that gun, and I'll introduce you to Matilda. Oh. Well, look, she's a-crawling over to say hello. I, I don't know about this, Mike. Oh, go on, just pat her on the head. Now, come on, Matilda, quiet down. Hello, Matilda. See, <laughs> Tilda says she's pleased to meet you. Yeah, now, ain't you ashamed of yourself for making all that fuss? <laughs> Why, you know you're the only gal for... Well, I mean, well, shucks, Miss Clementine. Matilda thinks you're one of the family. She does? I mean, well, she knows you don't mean no harm. Oh, I sure wouldn't want her mad at me for making eyes at you, Mike. No, Miss Clementine, don't say things like that. <laughs> Besides, I think Matilda's got a fella somewhere herself. Matilda! Yeah. Look at her. She's a turning red all over. <laughs> I, I knew I heard a strange rattle around here. Matilda's got a rattle all her own, kind of high pitched. Uh, what's she rattling about now, Mike? Well, somebody must be riding up. That's Matilda's way of barking at strangers. Oh. She can smell them a long ways off. Why, look, it's Mr. Sneedby. Sneedby? Mm -hmm. What's he doing way out here? Oh, no. He don't look natural without a deck in his hand and an ace up his sleeve. Oh, Miss Clementine, that ain't nice. Twar not meant to be. Well, hello? Anybody home? Oh, in here, Mr. Sneedby. Come on in. Well, good afternoon, Mike. Oh, and Miss Clementine, what a pleasure it is to see you. Howdy, Sneedby. Uh, sit down here, Mr. Sneedby. Oh, thank you. Aren't you nice? <clears throat> well, I couldn't help seeing you through the open door, so I thought I should stop off and discuss a vital matter. What do you got up your sleeve now, Sneedby? Uh, please, Miss Clementine, let's not be unkind. I have a... Well, what's that? Oh, don't be scared, Mr. Sneedby. It's just Matilda. She's my pet rattler. Uh, a, a pet? Mm-hmm. Uh, Miss Clementine, is this a joke? Nope. That there is a real live pet rattlesnake. Oh, I, I mean rattler. Thank <laughs> you. Mike tamed it. She won't hurt nobody. That's right. You just reach over and pat her on the head. Yeah. Amazing. Uh, tame rattlesnake. Uh, you're sure she won't bite? Yep, Matilda's just as nice as can be. And real affectionate, too. She's the best watchdog I ever had. Imagine that. A watchdog. Gad. It texts one's credulity. You're sure a fine talker. What was it you wanted, Sneedby? Well, oh, well, yes. <laughs> I came to discuss a matter of grave importance. Uh, the recent wave of crime that has been prevalent in our community... And in view of this alarming state of affairs, I deemed it necessary that the responsible citizens of Red Eye should take matters into their own hands and... Uh, uh, what's the matter with the sheriff? Oh, he spends most of his time gambling. And besides, slow gun snodgrass couldn't catch nobody. Exactly. So I am willing to volunteer my services as organizer of a vigilance committee, uh, with myself at the head, of course, uh, to pursue these lawbreakers to their lair. That just don't sound like you, Sneedby. <sighs> Miss Clementine, I'm shocked. After all, we property owners must stand together. Oh, that's right. Mr. Sneedy yeah. here owns a gambling hall. Yeah, and I live in constant fear of being robbed. Something must be done. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to stay up all night a guarding my safe. Uh, I got $100,000. Well, Miss Clementine, I, I was aiming to ask you to go to the box social at Cactus Flat with me. It's uh, tonight. You were, Mike? <laughs> yeah. Oh, gee. That's real thoughty of you. Oh, I'd sure like to go, but uh, there's two bags of gold dust in that safe, and I got to keep them there till morning. Uh, but, uh, now, Miss Clementine, it certainly would be a shame for you to miss the buck social, uh, especially if Mike has his heart set on it, and I see he has. I sure have. <laughs> You're a gay dog, Mike. Oh, shucks, Mr. Sneed. <laughs> no, I don't see no way out of it. There's a lot of money tied up in them bags. Yeah, uh, perhaps if we could have some kind of uh, watchdog. Uh, ain't a good one in town. No, no, I got to do it all alone. Oh, I'm sure this thing can be worked out. Now, now, perhaps we could find a watchdog. Uh, the one that uh, isn't a dog, I mean. Uh, yet, um... I can't think of nothing. Mm, 
Oh, are you sure Matilda is perfectly tame? Oh, ain't nothing tamer. Why, she'll do anything I tell her. You don't say. Why, she must be very clever. Oh, she sure is. Why, she could... Uh, hold it, Mr. Sneeby. Uh, yes, Mike. I got an idea. You have... Mike, I got an idea, too. Ooh. Matilda can guard the safe. Why, that's just what I was thinking. Oh, well, I don't know. After all, she won't bite anybody. Oh, she won't have to. All she need do is rattle, that's all. They'll be too scared to take a shot at her. Might rouse the town. Yes, I think maybe you have something after all. It's a wonderful <laughs> idea, Mike. And we can go to Cactus Flat. Yeah, we sure can. <laughs> there ain't nobody will monkey with Matilda after I tell her what to do. Brilliant, my boy. Simply brilliant. Uh, I wish I could have come up with such an idea myself. <laughs> what else need be? Got the stuff? You're right here, Red. I took one of his silver spurs when no one was looking. Has his initials on it. Oh, sure does shine. Yes, there'll be no mistake about who pulled this job. <laughs> Especially when Mesquite Mike has no alibi. Well, ain't he going to Cactus Flat with Miss Clementine? Well, of course he is. And I have arranged it with some of the boys to tie him up for about two hours while he's there. <laughs> Just enough time for him to ride back and rob the safe. Yes, tonight we'll fix Mesquite Mike for good. Come on, Red, it's this way. I'm coming. I don't see why I have to carry all the tools. I have to keep my hand super for the job ahead. Now, you consider yourself an artist's helper. Uh, hmm? You always got an answer, Sneedby. If this here safe is guarded, you'd better dig up the best in you got. Now, trust me, Red, I shall handle everything. Now, here's the window. Mm, should be no trouble at all. Uh, I'll break it open with my gun. No, no, you fool. We'll pry it open. Um. Uh, Hand me my number seven crowbar. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I, I can't understand it. Uh, both sides of this window are snug. Seems to me you're making a lot of fuss over a little contraption like a winder. Looks as if you could just raise it like this. Oh, well, I'll be danged. It's open. Well, there, there must be some mistake. Uh, if you can't open that safe any better than you can open this here window, you better carry these tools. Well, any fool can open a window. It takes skill to open a safe. All right, now climb inside. Okay. Hey, give me a boost. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Well, you could help me too, you know. Yeah. I can't see a thing. Where's the safe? Yeah, right over here. Now be careful. I've got it. Look at me, a snake. Quiet, you idiot. Do you want everyone to hear? But there's a rattlesnake on that safe. I, I, I hear it myself. There it is again. Let's, let's get out of here. Now, please. Are you afraid of a little thing like a rattlesnake? <laughs> Dad, just my luck to be associated with a coward. Uh, ain't no man calling me a coward unless he can back it up, Sneed. Be a start drawing. Now, just a moment, idiot. Do you want us both to wind up in jail? Now, look. There's just enough light for you to see. Here, I will take the snake myself. You're going to get bit, Sneed. Be Nonsense. Observe. <sighs> I'll be... It just curls up in your hand. Correct. Matilda is a tame rattlesnake. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but she has one fault. What's that? She trusts people. Uh, Mesquite Mike raised her from infancy. He trained her to be a watchdog. And you knew all the time she was going to be here. You sure know your stuff, Sneed. Be. Oh, tut red. Some of us come by our superior qualities quite by accident. <clears throat> now, hand me that drill and let's get busy with the safe. Yeah, here it is. Good. Um, we'll start right about here. What happened to Matilda? She just crawled away in the dark. Looks like we plumb hurt her feelings. Well, she'll have more than her feelings hurt in the morning. <laughs> when Miss Clementine finds that spur on the floor, she'll throw Mesquite Mike in jail and boil Matilda alive. <laughs> oh, I'd sure hate to see that happen. Matilda looks a friendly like. Yeah, pay attention to the job, Red. When we get this money, you can have all the snakes you want. <laughs> Declare, Mesquite Mac, I'm plumb tired of waiting for you. If you ain't the most exasperating, stubborn, mule headedest man I ever saw, causing all this trouble because of one silly old spur. If that ain't just like a man. Well, Miss Clementine, I'm plumb sorry, but if you knew what that spur meant to me, you'd understand why I'm acting this way. Oh, it's downright ridiculous. Yeah, I guess it is. Now, I'll wear them other spurs, the cast iron ones. 
sure is a shame, though. Oh, it ain't that much of a shame. Well, they was the spurs my pappy wore when he proposed to my mammy. Oh. Now, a lot, I do the same thing when my time comes. Now, it looks like I won't be able to. Miss Keith, Mike, what are you trying to say? Oh, nothing special. I, I was just... Oh, not another word. We'll find that spur if and it takes all night. Now, Miss Clementine. Down on your knees and hunt. Yes, ma'am, Miss Clementine. It... Listen. What, what is it, Mac? I thought I heard a rattle in the distance. I don't hear a thing. Why, it's real faint. Hey, there it is. It sounds like Matilda. Yeah, yeah, that's her, all right. Ain't no snake got a rattle like that. Over here, Matilda. She's left her post. I knew that snake wasn't to be trusted. Now, Miss Clementine, this is the first time Matilda's ever gone contrary to my bidding. Something mighty fishy about this here, Matilda. If in this is Matilda. Oh, this is Matilda, all right. I'd know that sound anywhere. She's got her own special rattle. Oh, Matilda, you're a bad girl. I don't know what I'm going to do with you. Mike, she seems to be trying to say something. Well, I've never seen her act so excited. Like she's gone from Luca. What is it, Matilda, girl? That's good, girl. She seems to be trying to lead us back to town. There's something wrong at the hotel, Mike. And Matilda's trying to tell us about it. She wouldn't go counter to my will without a good reason. Grab Matilda and let's get going back to town. We'll pick up the sheriff on the way. Come on, Sneedy. You had plenty of time to get that safe open. Patience, Red. We have to make this job look like Mesquite Mike's work, and that's hard to do, you know. Mm. Usually, my efforts have the smooth polish of a fast-working professional, but this time I... Okay, I'll wait. Hey, listen. What? That noise. Someone's coming. No, it's a rattle. Oh, well, it's Matilda. She's come back. Sounds a little different. Nonsense. This is Matilda. I'd know her anywhere. Ooh, she seems to be a bit angry with us. Tend to your safe, Frank. It's need be. I'll take care of Matilda. Come here, Matilda. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if I didn't know Matilda was friendly, I'd swear she was trying to strike. Oh, don't pay any attention to her. She's just trying to frighten us. Uh, uh, this is just about ready to come loose now. Uh... <laughs> Come on, Sheriff, get out of that bed. Oh, well, now, Miss Clementine, what's the idea of waking a man up at this here time of night? When I took this job, I stated that I wasn't interested in no night owling or night chasing. Now, come on, I... Sheriff, out of that bed. But now, Miss Clementine, it ain't polite. I... Let him see Matilda, Mike. Say hello, Matilda. Help a snake, a live snake. That got him out, Mike. Never mind the rattle, Sheriff. Let's get. <laughs> Hurry up, Sneedby. This is the dangest tame snake I ever seen. I can't hardly handle it. Ah, uh, here she comes, Red. Uh, Grab yeah, them sacks, Sneedby. This snake's getting mighty wild. I just set her on the floor and let's go. Hmm? Did you leave the fur? Oh, I leave it over by the window so it'll look more natural. I'll give Matilda one more pat so she'll remember. Hold it, hey, oh. Grab the sky. Behind you, Sneedby. Hey, oh, Miss Clementine, Mike. <clears throat> and Sheriff Snodgrass. Well, I'm certainly glad you came. Well, it looks like Matilda was right after all. Let's tie him up, Sheriff. Dern near got away with the gold. I sure do. I got a rope right here. You boys is under arrest. You boys? Why, I was in the act of apprehending this criminal when you burst in at the right moment. <sighs> Sheriff, you saved this man's life. Why? Well, and to think he was my dearest friend. Sneedby, you dirty lion. Here, yeah, silence, yeah. felon. Take your punishment like a man. <clears throat> Uh, here, Sheriff, I'll hold the gun on this fellow. I'm afraid you won't, Mr. Sneedby. We uh, caught you with the goods. Hey, look, my missing spur. They was going to plant it. Uh, Lucky Matilda came to warn us. Matilda? Well, she's been here with us, see? That ain't her. Matilda's right here. Take it, Sneedby. Oh, no, thanks, Red. It's all yours. Take it away. It's wild. Hello, Brutus. See, I'm your friend. Come on, boys. <laughs> Well, it sure was nice of you to walk home with me, Miss Clementine. <laughs> I thought you was getting plumb bored just sitting there in front of your hotel. Well, shucks, Mike. There's nothing I like more than sitting with you. I'd rather be bored with you than anybody. Oh, Miss Clementine, you say the nicest thing. <laughs> you know, I reckon I could let you walk me home every night if you wanted to. Why, I couldn't do that, Mike. You couldn't? Why? Matilda might get jealous. Shucks. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, mm. now that you got both your silver spurs, well, uh, 
Are you going to do like... Uh, you know. I sure am. Uh, Miss Clementine. Yes. There's, uh, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. Uh, yes, Mike. Uh, will you keep these spurs in your safe for me? My pappy would never forgive me if I lost them. This is Frank Fay again. Wasn't it Benjamin Franklin who said, a man cannot do a single good deed because every good deed we do is passed on from one person to another and continues to multiply itself among many people. I'm sure that all of us can look back on our lives and remember someone who helped us in difficulties and it meant a renewal of our faith, our hope, and a promise that when we'd have the opportunity, we'd be generous and unselfish in helping others. Yes, we have the opportunity to help those in need. And among the greatest needs in the world today is a renewal of charity and brotherhood and faith in God. You know, with God, all things are possible. With God's help, our lives, our homes, our families, and the world can be kept in peace and happiness. But we must ask for that help. We must pray sincerely and humbly, not only by ourselves, but as a family. A prayerful home is a happy home. A prayerful world is a peaceful world because nations that pray together for peace will live together in peace, just as the family that prays together stays together. Well, good night, and God bless you. More things are wrought by prayer than this world dreams of. From Hollywood Family Theater has brought you A Snake in Time, starring Gene Cagney and Stephen Dunn. Frank Fay was your host. Others in our cast were Jack Crucian, Billy Bauckham, and Tom Holland. The script was written by Robert Lockney, with music composed and conducted by Harry Zimmerman, and was directed for Family Theater by Joseph F. Mansfield. This series of family theater broadcasts is made possible by the thousands of you who feel the need for this type of broadcam, by the mutual network which has responded to this need, and by the hundreds of stars of stage, screen, and radio who give so unselfishly of their time and talent to appear on our family theater stage. To them and to you, our humble thanks. This is Tony Lofrano expressing the wish of family theater that the blessing of God may be upon you and your home and inviting you to be with us next week when Family Theater will present Vacation for Mom, starring Ruth Hussey and Regis Toomey. Join us, won't you? Family Theater is broadcast throughout the world and originates in the Hollywood studios of the world's largest network. This is the Mutual Broadcasting System. <laughs> <laughs>